What's going on, Guardians? It's Corbin here, and here we are, continuing our how-to guide for Shattered Throne. Normally, I stay up top there, and I snipe at these enemies. I at least like to take out this Minotaur, but I did die between takes, so we're going to have to push him and just shoot him with our energy weapon. Our loadout is still Izanami's Burden for our primary, Inaugural Address is our secondary, and Hammerhead is our heavy. Once you take out the Minotaur, there will be a small group of enemies right down here in this little basin, as well at the top of those stairs right there. Go ahead and clear them all out before turning that corner. As you can see, there are snipers. We scared that one without even shooting at him. I'll go ahead and try to clear out as many of them as you can. Look, they're all running scared now. As you can see, there's a Minotaur right there. There will be two Minotaurs up top there. And one Super Bullet is enough to kill the Taken Minotaur. I guess he still chose not to engage us. We go up top here. And down here at the bottom of the stairs, there will be another small group of enemies. And once you take them out, drop back and see if that sniper's finally decided to show himself. Be aware that there are other snipers on the back side of that map. I don't know what he was scared of, as you can see we clearly missed. But not that time. Now that most of the snipers are down, go ahead and start moving towards the back. It's important to note that behind these stairs, off to the right here, is a Taken Phalanx. I use these stairs right here, and I clear the small group of enemies. As you can see, there's the second Minotaur. Now if you can land crits, that would have been enough to take him out. Now that should have been the last ad, all that's left is the boss. But it is another taken captain. Oh nope, the Minotaur is still alive. They don't usually hide up top there, they usually go to that middle area. So I'm going to see if, when I move around, if that gets them to move. Now as you can see, the captain's moved to where he normally is. Somehow he's phased himself through the floor. You just go ahead and take him out and that opens the door to the next section. I don't know if I can make that jump with my super, so I just wait until it right now. Now once you reach this doorway, there are going to be two orange bar knights, one to the left and one to the right. They can spam fire without a cooldown, so I suggest taking them out as quickly as possible. Continue impressing everyone with those A1 snipes. Now that you've taken the knights out, I like to focus on the snipers. And then, of course, those pesky failings. If 
Then you can go to the right or the left. I just wouldn't suggest jumping to that middle section just yet because there are two phalanx that can push you off. As you can see, we've killed both of them, so now I move to the middle. Now in this next section, there will be more snipers, as well as two more knights, one to the right and one to the left again. I try not to use too much of my sniper ammo, I try to stay at max because we're going to need them for the next area. So that was one knight. While the knights are still up, I stay back a little bit and I use the structure to the left as well as the staircase to block his fire. Well, we'll see you next time, Mr. Knight. I guess you could say, night night. Oh, that's horrible, I'm sorry. So you can go to the right or to the left again, but just go to the one side and begin to clear out the enemies. Now I did get my super there, but I wouldn't recommend using it. As you can see, there are four or six snipers just hiding in the back. As you can see, we still have one phalanx hiding around that corner there. That's why I didn't push over. And then try to kill him before he blasts you. And then while there are still snipers up, I like to stay back in this area. Because you can use a little frame to the right to block their shots. Just don't go too far to the right, because as you see, their shots can go through that little opening. Now that we've taken out all the enemies in this room, we're ready to move to the next room. This next area does get a little tricky with the narrow walkways, so it's imperative that we kill all of the ogres. Once we pass through this threshold, the two on the right will spawn. Now that both ogres are down, go ahead and move forward and start walking on this pillar. As you can see, there's a little design to the right and left. You can actually run on those, but do be careful as you can fall between the gaps. The reason why you want to kill those ogres is because their blast has a little weight to it and can actually knock you off of the little platforms. I like to go nice and slow just to make sure I don't fall. My first death actually came from falling off one of these little pillars because the warlock jumps. You don't catapult yourself up like a hunter or a titan. So you just go a little bit forward on those pillars and it spawns the next wave of enemies. As you can see, there are little circles there that spin around the big circle. If they hit you, they can catapult you. We jump to this next platform, and the balls actually started to spawn there. Hey friend, I'm back. My second death came to that ogre. I thought I could ignore him and just jump past. You can't. Once you get close enough, they will just start shooting you.
Now that you've cleared both of those ogres, you're ready to move on to the next section. Just be mindful that there is a large gap from this pillar to that doorway. I go ahead and I switch over to my loadout that I'm going to be using for the ogre. All I do is switch to a subtle calamity. This ensures that I get ammo before the ogre fight. Once you get into here, you'll see that you're slow. You can't still use all of your abilities, you just can't run or double jump. So I like to use the staircase or any other kind of ramp to jump over the enemies. Now as you can see, the enemies aren't on your radar anymore. If you are Warlock, you can just drop a Healing Earth for a second, get your health back, and then keep moving. And this is the other reason why I use Middle Tree, is because you can just coast through the enemies. And once you cross the threshold, the Thrall won't follow you. One or two may come through, but not that many of them. Now you just jump across to the far side. Just be careful, there are bloopers there along the wall that can push you out. So just move through this next section at whatever speed you feel comfortable. And just jump. Oh, Warlock, please. and then just clear out this wave of enemies. Then once you've cleared them all, you're ready to move to the next section. I did Go back to see if I can find some more special ammo. Also to prove that I do know how to jump as a warlock. So now that that special ammo run was a bust, we just push to the ogre. Now we're ready for the ogre fight. 